The amount they graze is enormous, and this herd alone will produce nearly a ton of dung each day. Dung litters their path to the waterhole, and it seems it wouldn't take long for the plains of Kruger to be smothered in the manure of its many herds. But a wonderful system of supply and demand works here. As fast as the dung is produced, dung beetles move in to claim their share. Without these little guys, dung could choke out the plants and limit the number of animals the land could support. Some, like this pair, shape the dung into a ball in which the female will lay eggs. Later, the ball will also provide food for their developing young. When they're satisfied with their work, the male beetle rolls the ball away while the female holds on tightly. They may travel 20 yards or more until they find the right place to bury it. On the way, he often stops to look around and set his direction. As more and more beetles home in on the dung, the competition becomes lively. Sometimes there are so many beetles that dung becomes scarce and, for latecomers, the best strategy is to rob another beetle. It may be less trouble to go off and make another ball. Finally, the beetles bury their dung. As the male digs from underneath, the ball slowly sinks out of sight. When it's about a foot below the surface, the beetles will mate and lay their eggs. <laughs> 